So it's that time here, guys. This is Ross, and I actually was able to, because we had a, a frost, well, we had a predicted frost last night, and I've been looking ahead to the forecast. I'm expecting that we won't have a frost again, even though we didn't have one last night. So I went ahead and decided to move a lot of the trees. Here are my pomegranates that are still dormant. You can see they're kind of bent over a little bit because we've had them underneath the sunroom here. It's a very small area and I had to uh, kind of put them on their side. Same thing with these smaller young fig trees that we've been trialing. These all came out from underneath the sunroom, almost in total darkness. You can see how pale the, the growth is because they've actually been awake for, I think, over a month at this point. So got to get them out there, out of this, uh, you know, that darkness into the full sun. Would love to start my season, not expecting any sort of frost. Um, last night, I'll just recap some things about the frost and, and really how things went. Um, there wasn't a whole lot here on the patio, but whatever was in terms of fig trees, even these jujubes I have back here that are quite tall, I actually put those down on their side, laid them down, got some fig trees over here, and then threw a tarp over this whole cold frame, covered all these one gallon size smaller trees here, and just kept them away from frost, or at least the potential for frost. Covered a few annuals with uh, you know, a blanket, Anything that was really quite frost sensitive that I thought if it did get hit by a frost, maybe it wouldn't come back, it would die. Um, I did cover a lot of the fig trees in the ground that are not protected by low tunnels um, through maybe even just a pot right over top of it, put a stone right on top of the pot. Um, we did have a, what they say is a frost warning, which is kind of, severe. That's, you know, a warning that's telling you you're going to get something between a 30 and 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a really good chance. Most likely you're going to get a frost. They also include if in a frost warning that you're going to see things like a still night. Um, it's going to be a clear night, not a lot of clouds. Uh, so all that combination of things gets you a frost warning. And that's what we had. And I was prepared. I wanted to be prepared because you never know with the with the forecast even though last night it was predicting 37 and i believe it only got down to 37 um i still wanted to take the precaution just for a couple things although you know realistically i should have taken the precaution there's so much to protect that even the fig trees probably would be one of my last things to protect uh, because the fig even if it does get hit by a frost it can actually re-sprout from a lower point and still fruit. You know, even if you lose those buds or even some leaves, it's, it's really not the end of the world. Uh, maybe if you're growing f uh, figs for Breba, then it's kind of a big deal. But things like my jujubes and the pomegranates, the mulberry, the persimmon, if you kill those buds with a frost, then you're really asking for trouble because you're just not going to get any fruit, right? You you lose the fruit, you lose the buds on a persimmon as it's leafing out, there's your fruit. Same thing with the mulberry. Same thing with the pomegranate. They fruit on the new growth, they flower on the new growth, and on spurs. So if you kind of mess that up, you're in trouble. Um, so yeah, that was kind of our little frost plan here and, and what ended up happening. And really there was no damage whatsoever. Um, you know, whether that was on a fig tree, whether that was on the pomegranates, whatever, even the apricot that I have over here, it still has fruit on it that are just looking great. So I'm pretty confident that we didn't even see a frost, which even though they said it was going to be a frost warning, um, I would say it actually could be more accurately classified as a frost advisory, which means, you know, do what you want kind of thing is that there could be a frost there could not be a frost you're going to see temperatures probably somewhere between 32 and 37 or 38 and that um, is just giving you some sort of awareness that you actually have uh, the potential for frost i also brought my citrus trees out here um, 
these guys were hardening off to actually the sunlight for a while over in the shade. And they're not really that happy. Um, didn't take a great job of taking care of them inside. It's kind of difficult given the circumstances. But this guy here looks like nothing ever happened. He's flowering. Uh, this guy here looks like nothing ever happened. Um, this kumquat, which had probably about 40 to 50 fruits on it, was doing amazing. And then I neglected to water it and it lost a few limbs. So it's coming back. This guy here was in a different room, different environment, much more shade, much colder, and it has a scale problem. So it's really struggling. I don't care about this tree whatsoever because what I'm gonna do is actually graft onto it. So I'm gonna wait for this guy to get a bit healthy and then I'm gonna take some wood off of these other trees and graft right onto this because this is actually rootstock I've learned. Um, made the mistake of I guess either they messed up the nursery I got it from or the rootstock grew away and uh, replaced the scion. So I'm gonna use this now as rootstock like it originally was intended to. The ladybugs will come in and take care of the scale hopefully very soon. What I need to do is come out here with all these trees I've already begun is feed them and water them in well. I haven't watered any of these trees that were underneath the sunroom once this summer. So it's really, or this winter. So it's really key to rehydrate them once you give them enough soil temperatures, you rehydrate them, they're gonna wake up, they're gonna get their act together, and you're gonna be on the way to uh, seeing some fruit. So that's kind of this little talk. I wanted to touch on the fruit, or the frost, I'm sorry. I wanted to touch on, you know, that this is all out here now. We're beginning this process. In terms of the greenhouse fig trees, we still have a lot of potted trees in the greenhouse. They're gonna come out in probably two waves and they'll be a kind of all along this this line here um, of the patio. Uh, not that many trees this year, um, at least a lot less than prior years. So it's going to be a lot less work. I'm excited. These guys on this, this wall are for rootstock. We're going to graft quite a bit of fig trees this year. I'm also grafting a lot of persimmons this year. So yeah, we're just doing our thing and um, I hope that you guys will stay along uh, with the season, follow along with me. So that's, I guess, a little update. I know someone was asking for these citrus trees and the, those are the pomegranates over there. So yeah, we're just now starting. I'll see you guys soon, all right? Take care, hit that subscribe button for me. We'll see you for the next one.